Hi, this is Chef Remy. Today I'm bringing you one of five different pot pies. This is turkey pot pie. And this is the ingredients for turkey pot pie. We're going to buy turkey in the store, already cooked. Some frozen veggies. Some chicken broth. We'll be using milk. Butter. Onion flour, salt and pepper, and we'll take a shortcut and use pie crusts that are already prepared. Now, go ahead and buy turkey that's cooked like this and cut it into cubes and set it aside. And then, onion, one-third of a cup, cut up small like this, and you know I like to put everything in bowls and have everything ready to go. When things happen quickly, they're there for you. Butter. Butter is usually marked so that you can take your cuts. Here's the one-third cup right there. We're going to cut it. And we'll set the rest back into the refrigerator. This we're going to cut up and put in a bowl just like that chicken broth in a can, 14 ounce can, get it ready, flour, three tablespoons of flour, get that ready too, milk, half a cup of whole milk, you can use milk substitutes if you like, half a teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of pepper, veggies your choice but keep them small frozen two cups and set them aside there's your lineup so we have the order in which it's going to go in the butter the onion the flour the milk the broth the salt and pepper then we'll be tasting it and then add the veggies and the turkey. There's the lineup right there. Now pie crusts come in a box like so, different brands. There's two of them. And we open it up, looks like that. You want to keep them moist though, so don't leave them out very long. And let's put the bottom into a pie plate, aluminum pie plate, and kind of push it down it's kind of elastic, you know, sort of like clay. So don't be afraid to stretch it out a little bit. And don't worry about the edges just now. I'll show you what to do with the edges later. And maybe keep it moist with, with a, a moist towel or into the refrigerator. Don't let it dry out. Pat the corners in just like so. and we're good to go. Let's do some cooking now. Oh, let me show you the uh, the shield that goes around the edges. Okay, it can be a metal shield like this or a, a silicone edge shield that looks like this and if you don't have any of these you can go ahead and and cut some strips of aluminum foil and wrap them around the edges. But I'll, I'll be showing you that later. Let's go back to the cooking though. Okay, here we go. We're going to put the line up here, the butter, the onion, the flour, the milk, the broth, the salt and pepper, the turkey, and the veggies that I had shown you before. And let's melt some butter over medium heat. Whenever you're making sauce, you always want to use medium heat, you know. And let's sweat the onions we don't want them to go into a gold color. We just kind of want to sweat them a little bit like this and in the butter. And uh, then we'll be adding some ingredients to that. There you go. That looks about right. And we're putting, we're putting some flour in and we're going to 
swirl that around a little bit it's kind of going to form a paste it's going to cook and you can tell it's cooked when you can smell something like like peanut butter and you get that a whip of that you're good to go the flour is cooked and we're only talking about two minutes here and then we'll be adding the next ingredient which is milk I mentioned you could use milk substitute and we'll give that a stir and it's going to thicken on you after a couple or three minutes and then we can add the broth and of course that's going to thin it out quite a bit and it'll be a little while before it thickens maybe another four minutes you can stir often but we'll be putting some salt and pepper in and giving it a taste test there comes half a teaspoon of salt don't go more than that the turkey may have some salt in it and pepper and let's let's taste it now and oh it should taste very very good and look at the thickness of it see we want a light thickness not much and we'll go ahead and put a turkey and the veggies in the object here is not to cook that only to combine we'll be turning the heat off let's put the veggies in too and so with our heat off we're combining and we're going to pour that into the pie shell now there you go it should look like that keep keep that like peas and carrots little little pieces small though okay we'll pour it into the pie shell kind of spread it around a little bit even it out and we will be putting the top crust on in a minute here there you go just like this we've kept that top crust uh, moist by the way don't let it sit out very long and so we're going to tuck under the edges the bottom and the top together and then decorate a little bit with your fingers like so and uh, you could use a fork uh, some people like to do that with with the fork it makes another kind of a design and let's cut some slits into it and this is for the air vents while it's baking and we're putting on this type of edge shield or maybe this type whatever you like okay we've got 325 degrees in our oven and we're gonna bake it twice one with the heat shield on and the other with it off so 30 minutes with the shield on all right and when that's ready to go 30 minutes is up we'll take and remove the heat shield the edge shield and give it another 15 minutes but keep an eye on it now so that it's going to be kind of a gold color remember everything's cooked in there so uh you know you just only want to get a nice gold color on that on that pastry okay the time's up and let's take a look the power is off if you get a chance take a look at my website because I've got some other pot pies there that you might be interested in trying yourself for example you know we have ham chicken beef seafood all great pot pies with different ingredients you'll love them this is easy to do and very filling very healthy give it a try thanks for watching this is chef remy see you over at my website bye